Goldcrest Valley greetings to episode number 19 with me Mr Sealy P. I've brought the Pottinger Euroboss uh, 330T back down to the shop because I'm going to sell it. Well, that's not bad. I'll sell that. Now I've got a little bit in the bank and I need to have a bit of a shopping spree because I need to spend I need to get the things I need to buy to work out how much I've got left, if that kind of makes any sense. Uh, so, first on the list, I believe, in my head, I'm trying to think, uh, is Cedars sewing machines. I don't have any, and I've got a lot of fields now that need sewing, so I'm going to need one of each. I'm going to go with, oh, see, there's a real dilemma here. Um, I want to get one that does the sunflowers and soybeans and corn so I'm going to get the Vedastat Tempo it's got a six meter width 61,000 it fertilizes and seeds at the same time so that's my first purchase excellent now a normal I say a normal seeder for all the rest of the crops the only problem with the Vedastat Rapid is um, it cultivates at the same time but doesn't fertilize the horse does it all it cultivates fertilizes and seeds it's a little bit more expensive though 40 something thousand 44,000 more expensive but then I don't know if I buy a cultivator oh, I don't know yes I'm gonna get that I must be mad okay okay that's that done. Um, I probably am going to need a cultivator, aren't I? Because I was thinking that one, you need fields to be cultivated before you can do it. So, oh, great, a cultivator. Now, these get big and really silly really quickly. Uh, this one, 32,000, 52,330 horsepower. Nope. 180 horsepower, width of six meters. It's bigger than one I had before. Terra Disc 600. Yeah, why not? 32,000. Let's have that. Right, that's those. Already got a plow that I knew I needed. Um, what else was I going to get? Oh, yeah, I just sold the uh, loading wagon. So I need a new loading wagon. I want something a bit bigger. That's 131,000. Was it required to pull? Doesn't say. And that takes how much? 50,000. But I've had that before, loads of times, on on 15. Lady's new. The Lady Tigo XR75D, 44,000 litre capacity. You know what? <sighs> yeah, why not? I have lost my mind. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, that's that done. I'm racking my brain trying to think, oh, that was the other thing. A sprayer, <laughs> a fertiliser haven't got one of those now I originally had a fertilizer spreader I had one of those the braid oil. I want to go with the sprayer and I'm thinking for width 28 meters I used that on one of my um, contracting jobs and it was really good so okay yeah, my money's going down quick. <laughs> right. That might be it for the time being, I think. Although, I did think, what's the other thing I thought I needed? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, it might have been low loader. That's not it. Low loader. 22,000, is that all? Ah, low loader it is then. quick peruse of all the equipment we just purchased the vader stat so the tempo what was it tempo the pronto uh, horse uh, pronto the terra disc cultivator the Lely loading wagon the is it nicolas caruel 
Yes. Sprayer. Wow, that's big. And the low loader. The low loader is going to come in very handy later on. Wow, okay. That's a lot of stuff. Um, first things first, I'm going to take back the loading wagon because I've got straw that needs to be picked up off the field. So let's jump into this. Start her up. God, that thing is massive. I hope this can pull it. When it's loaded, I wouldn't have thought it will, but that is a huge trailer. I might have to stick the T7 on this. Good grief. Okay. I'm definitely putting the beacons on for this. Has he got a beacon on it? Nope. Okay. So, when I said originally when I got the money for the nuggets, I wasn't going to go mad. And I haven't. I've been quite sort of controlled. This is the list of things I needed because now the fields have been harvested. I need to cultivate, I need to seed, I need to fertilise. So I need all of those bits of equipment. The low loaders, I say it's an extravagance, it was only 22,000, it's not an extravagance at all. Um, and it will come in handy. So all that stuff I needed. I needed a big one of these because I've got more straw and stuff to move around now. So yeah, they were necessary purchases. see this bad boy in action then turn it on lower the pickup oh, that's pretty cool Hmm, uh -huh. it is missing some. And that could be just me not being particularly accurate, but The animations are great, the dust coming up behind the loading wagon is fantastic. This thing's going to fill up in no time. steering on it as well makes turning it a lot easier now 
and that's it. Full, 44,000 litres. Wow, that's a lot of straw. I'm going to put this to one side for the time being because I have a plan for this. What needs to happen with it? Just a bit of a swap over really. So I'm going to get into the T7 now because I need to take that trailer back. I'm down at the store in the T7. You can send off now. What I'm going to do is uh, move some of this equipment around. But while I'm doing it, fill them up. Well, I say fill them up, it's not going to fill them up, but. I'll have a go use all this stuff off here first <gasps> no never mind okay refill oh, this is a big old brute isn't it Because it was seed, not fertilizer. Genius. That's full. Mm. So that's fertilizer I need. All kinds. I'll sell this trailer. Okay, that's odd. Never mind. Hmm. I need to follow the fertilizer, so one, two, three. Four, five, six. I also need liquid fertilizer for the sprayer. And I think that's 2,000 litres, probably three of those. Yeah, this is weird. I'm going to have to come down here with the uh, pallet forks, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll come down with pallet forks at some point. Right. So, we need to fill all of these things up now. From these boxes. Pallets, even. Start with this and the liquid one. One gone. Two gone. So I 
get to the third one. Won't use all the third one, but... There we go. I've still got one back at the, uh, the farm as well. Right, so that's good. That's full. It's always good to know. Right, leave that there. Right, let's get fertilizer onto this one then. Full, okay. That's that one done. Wow, this is an expensive business. Last one of these. This takes next to nothing. I'm going to have all these sitting there for no reason. Oops. Well, it'll take a bit more. I've just bought way too much. Okay. Well, this is full. all the prep work that needs doing. I have jumped ahead ever so slightly. Um, as you can see over here, fields 21 and 17 are green for growth, which are showing growing. If I click across onto soil composition, they are fertilized as well. They were plowed in the previous episode. I went over and cultivated them and seeded them both. If I go to fruit types, I've put canola in both of those. I haven't grown canola yet, so I thought I'd do a different crop and do canola. Don't panic if you think straight away, oh, we've missed them cultivating, seeding, all the rest of it. I've got plenty more fields. I'm going to be doing more of that in today's episode. So the growth is on the growing stage, but the first growing stage, so that's fine. Right, if I come across soil compositions fertilised and up to the, the home farm. The home farm here, 14 at the moment. If I go back one to growth, it's cultivated. It's sorry, it's ploughed. It's been ploughed, the light bit here. I've now got the cultivator on it, so that's being cultivated at the moment. This one's ploughed, this one's ploughed, which I did in a previous episode. So none of these have been seeded yet. And at the moment, they're both in the ploughed state, and this one here, 14 is now being cultivated with the cultivator. That is all I've done extra, moved a few about. Field 19, as you can still see here, is still growing. That's got potatoes in, I own that one. Once that's ready, I'm probably going to lease a potato harvester. I can't afford to buy one, and it'll work out cheaper in the long one just to lease it for the time being. That will give me enough potatoes for feed for the pigs. So, my cultivator. I am going to need the fence with the front loader soon um, because there is. I should have to go back onto this map again. Should have stayed on it really. Um, if I scroll across here, in blue, there's great demand at the spinnery for wool. But what I'm also trying to do, if I go to the sheep, is. Oh, it's not showing at the moment because I've just reloaded it. Um, the wool is only on about 60% full. Um, I'm trying to get it as much in there as I can before the uh, demand runs out. Anyway, right, 
get a worker on this, get the cultivator going. The cultivator, I have to say, again, like I said before, because on FS17, the um, kind of the AI of the um, workers is far better than it ever was on 15. Um, so odd shaped fields and fields where you haven't got a lot of runoff at either end, it is it works around it the tractor moves and you always used to get that horrible little triangle where the tractor would turn round in one fluid motion but it would miss gaps it's not doing it on 17 it does what it needs to to turn around properly like a swing round like that to bring it back in line ready to line up for the next row so that's cultivating at the moment on field 14 Happy with that. The details are really good. You probably wouldn't normally cultivate with a front loader and pallet fork on the front. That just happened to be what I had on it when I hooked it up because I was going to go and grab the wall pallet to take to the spinnery, but I changed my mind. As I often do, you've probably noticed that probably noticed that I don't sound as bad as I did on the earlier part of this episode for some reason I had a stinking cold um, and today I woke up and I don't feel too bad at all so um, that's why I sound completely completely different yes I've jumped over to the T7 when the T7 over at the store where I parked up all the uh, all the equipment I've just purchased on my little spending spree um, so I'm just going to grab the uh, Cedar, the Vedastat Tempo F8, I think it is. That one I'll be doing for, for corn, sunflower. I'll just click through the options. Where are we? Seed select. Bottom right hand corner, sunflower. Sh uh, soybean, I think that is. Corn and sugar beet. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to plant first, actually. I do want to do some more corn because I need corn for the pigs. But I haven't done sunflowers yet. I might do a sunflower crop just for the sake of being different. Should have turned the engine off, shouldn't I? <gasps> Turn the lights and engine off. Didn't do it. Uh, slight detour, just for fuel. I realised how low I was. Back to the farm. So I've set the worker off on field 14. I'm putting corn in this one. Let's put his lights on because it's 7 o'clock in the evening. And obviously he feels like he needs them. I need more corn for pig feed. So this one will be corn. The bigger field over there, field 12. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in that yet. I want to do a sunflower harvest. So I might stick sunflowers in that one. I want to do more soybeans. So I might put soybeans in field 19, the slightly smaller one. Um... But I've also got field 15. So I don't know yet. I've got a few sort of ideas mulling over in my head. Now, the fence with the cultivator on the back has finished 
this field. That's why it's now being seeded. Um, I'm not sure what to put in this field, actually. Um, if I do wheat or barley or soybean, I don't need to cultivate it because the seed I've got will do that. What's the other one? Oh, it's the cover crop, isn't it? The clover. Um, I might put soybean in this one, actually. In which case, I don't need to cultivate that one. Um, I think I'm going to do sunflower in field 12 over here. But I haven't taken all of the straw swath off the field yet. You may notice that I have taken some off. Uh, well, yeah, I did it, didn't I? Earlier on in the Lely. Um I've taken that down to the cow farm because we're going to need the straw down there. I also unloaded one strip's worth up at the pig farm because we're going to need straw up there for bedding too. So for the time being, the cultivator I think I'm done with. I don't need to do anything with that. So I can just put that away. I'm driving around with it open. It's bad form. What have I unloaded? Oh. Attach. Wrong thing. There we go. Fold cultivator. Okay. Well, uh, I think I'm putting cultivators and plows and stuff over here in the shed up here. Kind of out of the way at the moment. Until I've finally decided what I'm going to do with each of these fields. Now the problem I have got is the, uh, the cedars require quite a lot of horsepower actually. Especially that big pronto. And so I'm going to need the... Uh, the T7 for doing that. I hate reversing small trailers. They go all over the place. That'll do. It's not bad. Right, so before the great demand finishes, I thought I would go over to the sheep farm, grab the pallet and go and sell that at the spinnery. And just looking across as I was going through, centre section at my pigs, the next animal is due in 17 minutes. Exciting. First new birth on the pig farm. So, that being said, I'm going to pick up this pallet. Oh, man. I'm always just slightly off. There we go. Well, so it's not full. 1,366 litres. So it's not as full as it could be, but I'm worried about leaving it too long, trying to get as much as I can and then the great demand ending and not getting as much for it, so I'll take it as is to the spinnery and see what we get what we're on at the moment, 230,000 that is dropping a little bit each time because obviously I've got the worker seeding but it should be a nice little learner we are approaching the spinnery let's see what we get where's the drop off point I'll just here on the right. Whoa, nine thousand. And that wasn't even a full pallet. Well, that wasn't bad going. And that will certainly pay my wage bill for my workers that are seeding the fields. Won't pay for all the seed, but all the fertilizer, but it'll pay a chunk. Excellent, right. Where am I going with this? Mine's gone blank. Um, back to the field, I guess. Oh, I know what I can do. Back up to the shop and pick up the fertilizer sprayer. The Carowell Nicolas. Should be in here. Whoa. Skewer people with the pallet forks, that'd be nice. Nice compensation claim there. There we go. Right. That 
is probably it for this episode. I do need to get some fuel on the way back as well. It's been a bit of a spending spree. Bit of shopping, all the equipment we need to get. Filling up of fertilizers and seed. Um, bit of cultivating, bit of seeding, a uh, bit of collecting straw swaths. Um, so yeah, I've done a few little bits, the normal admin bits that need to be done around the farm on a regular basis if you like the episode give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment and be my guest if you want to share the episode absolutely do i'm on facebook screenshots appear there regularly as do the links to the youtube clips whatever you choose to do as always thanks for watching